know what Ria, I'm really hungry. I would like to order idli. What about you? Puri bhaji. I love a masala dosa. If they have it. Uh, why shouldn't they? Dosa must be among the most popular items. Sometimes they don't, particularly in the summer during the vacations, and also sometimes in the afternoon. I wonder why. How do they decide on which days to make dosas? I don't know. Let's ask Vasudev. Ah, oh, Vasudev, how are you? Doing fine, sir. We just came to see how you make your dosas. So why don't you prepare dosa during uh, vacations? See, madam, dosa is one of the most laborious job. In the vacation, we don't know the exact numbers, how many of them will be there or not. So if the number is good, definitely we'll go for making dosa every day to keep up our uh, customers intact with us. Look, he's already talking the language of managerial economics. Let's find out some more. How do you decide on the price? Are you planning to increase the price? They were not aware of Amrita colors. No, everybody knows Amrita colors is there. So I increased the menu also because of the sheer competitions. Now the menu is good. People are walking in. I got a reputation and a good win. Now I am seriously thinking of increasing my rates. How many people work here? So inside the kitchen, there are four cooks and the counter boys, four are there and utility boys are four. Totally 12. And what are the costs involved? Basically, it involves the raw material charges, LPG gas charges, wages, these electrical charges, water charges, rent, transportations. For the selling of 25 rupees, one masala dosa, we have to put everything into consideration. Out of which, we must make a thin margin and we have to take it out. Well, he has a lot to worry about, doesn't he? He has to deal with his customers and find the right products and prices. He has to deal with his costs and manage his employees. He has to produce the food and maintain quality. And finally, he has to deal with the competition. Welcome to Managerial Economics.